Finding Nemo is an enthralling film to see. The underwater scenes are stunning, brimming with color and vitality. In every given case, the voices are a great match for the animals. The jokes are fantastic, and they will appeal to both children and adults. The film is both technically and visually stunning. To me, it was the most visually gorgeous film Pixar made during its early years. And it remains one of the studio's most beautiful films to this day. The film is colorful with a brilliant range of colors and good contrast and saturation. The precise stroke and relative realism of the animation and the way it was edited all contributed to the film's greatness. The plot, in my opinion, was stretched out too much and too long for what it was. I presume that the company expected most of their anime features to entail everyone seeking for a single character or a character finding himself or herself, but there wasn't much going on in this picture that would have been missed if it had been cut down to an hour or even 45 minutes. The screenplay deserved to be nominated for an Academy Award with the character development and dialogue becomes quite complex. It's not only for laughs. The film focuses not only on the father-son bond between Marlon and Nemo, but also on Dory and her loneliness in life, where she finds consolation and happiness in her newfound relationship with both Marlon and Nemo. Finding Dory, a 2016 spinoff sequel, is another version of this film. I would recommend watching this film because Finding Nemo is funny. It's a funny and touching film that teaches the audience a lesson about letting go of their kids as they go out into the world and never forgetting what they have learned growing up. Please share your thoughts on Pixar's 2003 animated film Finding Nemo in the comments section below. And thank you for watching and listening to my movie review, and I will see you all later.